Bhanga Bandhu, the founder of Bangladesh. We are very pleased to be partnered with the Embassy of Bangladesh and Tur Turkish Airlines to be able to bring you the delicious Bangladesh food. We will be serving a delicious menu with very reasonable prices at Greenhouse Restaurant for four days starting from today. Enjoy your evening and enjoy your Bangladesh taste. Now I would like to uh, ask, invite for uh, our uh, Excellencies. Evening to all of you, Excellencies, distinguished participants, colleagues from the Diplomatic Corps, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, please allow me to extend my warmest welcome to all the friends for coming to such a joyful gathering despite the coronavirus pandemic. I am deeply honored and privileged to welcome you to the inauguration of the Bangladesh Culinary Days organized by the Embassy of Bangladesh in Ankara and supported by the Ankara Hilton Sa Hotel and Turkish Airlines. We were planning this event for last one year. However, due to the challenges of pandemic, we couldn't organize it before today. I am thankful to the Bangladeshi chefs, Mr. Habib and Mr. Mamun, for coming all the way from UAE to prepare the authentic and exquisite Bangladesh dishes, which can give a real test of our food. I am also thankful to the diplomatic missions of Turkey and Bangladesh in Abu Dhabi and Dubai for their kind support for issuance of the visas for the ships very promptly. This year, Bangladesh is observing the golden jubilee of its independence and the birth centenary of the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Like Kamal Atatürk of Turkey, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman is the greatest Bengali of all time. Under his undisputed leadership and with the blood of three million Bengalis in nine months' time, the independence of Bangladesh was achieved in December 1971. I also would like to thank the former general manager of Ankara Hilton Sa Hotel, Mr. Mark Shomeha, for encouraging me to organize this festival for the last one year. The embassy is organizing different cultural events during the observance of these two very historic occasions in Ankara and the other cities of Turkey. Turkey-Bangladesh friendship goes back to thousands of years and the two peoples of the two countries hold fraternal friendliness. We have commonalities in religion, language and cuisine. In recent years, while consolidating and strengthening political ties, Turkey and Bangladesh also conducted very active, friendly exchange in culture, education, and economy. The trade volume has increased from US dollar 920 million during last year, 2020, to already this year, 2021, to US dollar 1.2 billion, despite the pandemic. We hope that it will reach to US dollar 2 billion by the next two years. Turkey and Bangladesh have a strong defense cooperation. Bangladesh is the fourth largest buyer of Turkish defense items. Bangladesh is also doing good economically under the dynamic leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. The present government commenced its third term in office in January this year after achieving a landslide victory. And not this year, in 2019, victory in the national election. Its popular mandate was due to the solid socio-economic progress achieved by the country during its last two terms. Bangladesh has achieved a remarkable 8.13% GDP growth in the fiscal year 2018 and 19. Its economy is now recognized as one of the fastest growing in the world. Asian Development Bank has stated that GDP growth in Bangladesh is the highest in the Asia-Pacific region. The robust growth enabled Bangladesh to elevate itself into the lower middle income country status in 2015 and fulfill all three eligibility criteria 
for graduation from LVC in 2018. Bangladesh is now well on track for graduation into a full-fledged developing country in 2024. Bangladesh is getting ready to launch its second satellite, Bangabandhu Satellite 2, by 2023 to the orbit. Bangladesh is also one of the largest contributors to UN peacekeeping operations at present number one. I am thankful to the Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and her government for the great leadership. Just to add a little more, this year, in uh, you know, recently, we have also become in South Asia per capita wise number one, per capita growth wise. Bangladesh is the second largest IMG producer in the world after China, and besides has a strong leather, pharmaceutical, light engineering, shipbuilding, and IT industries. The Bangladesh Food Festival, which will continue in Ankara for three more days, starting, I mean three more days, to, starting from today, and to be held also in Adana and Mercy in conduct in in a conducive way for the Turkish people to better understand Bangladeshi culinary custom and to further cement the friendship between the two peoples and it is an activity of much significance. The government of Bangladesh attaches great importance to relations with Turkey and would like to actively push for bilateral cooperation in various fields. To achieve this objective, the Embassy of Bangladesh is undertaking a series of promotional activities. This is one of them. Bangladesh Culinary Days Initiative is a part of the cultural diplomacy that we believe in strongly. We are thankful to President Erdogan and his government for their support for the displaced Rohingyas. Turkey was one of the most active country which came forward, started to helping Rohingyas immediately, and even the Honorable President's wife, First Lady Mrs. Erdogan, visited Bangladesh with Honorable Foreign Minister in 2017, just after the displaced Rohingyas entered Bangladesh. I am extremely happy to welcome you all in this event, which aims to use food to act as a platform for understanding and appreciating each other's culture. It is certainly a great idea and more so for Bangladesh, which is one of the most important tea producers in the world. The famous Bangladesh curries and use of variety of sp spices has been refined over a period of time. Our cuisines are reflection of our cultural heritage for all of us. We would like to introduce the cuisine of Bangladesh to you through delicious dishes making more Turkish citizens familiar with Bangladesh and becoming more interested in it. The Bengali proverb says that the way to the heart goes from good food. I strongly believe that food is a carrier of culture and harmony. However, as the saying goes, seeing is believing, attending today's function is just a beginning. If you want to find out a true Bangladesh, you would better go and experience all these cuisines yourselves sitting in Bangladesh. I hope this evening's event will make you put Bangladesh on top of your list of travel agenda. I am sure you will enjoy it, love it and return with fond memories. All the various flavors of food from Bangladesh will be displayed marvelously during the coming days. The aroma of all the different spices and dishes diffused through the air as it will make everyone's mouth water. I had the opportunity to visit Afion, Kayseri and Gaziantep, which are included in the list of UNESCO's Creative Cities Network in field of gastronomy for their traditional and rich cuisine and tested the delicious local foods. Now it is my turn and I am very happy to offer you samples from the traditional and delicious cuisine of Bangladesh. Please do not be picky and try everything. You will not be disappointed. You can feel the imprint of the thousands of years of civilization in my country, Bangladesh, and find the cultural heritage left by the Mughals, Turks, and British 
while testing the dishes. I have to say, Bangladesh cuisine is one of the best choices all over the world. I do not want to stay back any long between food and all of you. I believe you are eager and looking forward to the food culture tour to experience real delicious Bangladeshi dishes displaced in this famous hotel of Hilton in Ankara. Before I conclude, allow me to extend my heartiest felicitations to Ankara Hilton Sa Hotel and Turkish Airlines once more, and of course, to the supporters of the Bangladesh Culinary Days in Ankara. I thank you all. Thank you.